What's up, freaks, beasts, and athletes? It's DC here with Genesis Strength TV and InsaneFootballTraining.com. Today I want to talk to you guys about why our athletes do so much unilateral leg work. A couple days ago, I had posted about when our athletes do low bar box squats, uh, high bar Olympic squats, which is best, uh, which you know is is good for certain situations, and kind of following that mind, uh, following that aspect, I'm talking more about when we incorporate unilateral leg work to make sure that our legs, uh, each athlete's legs stay balanced, that their left leg is just as strong as their right, um, just as powerful and as equal as possible. So no matter what situation they're in or what leg they're using to either jump off of, cut, push off of, land with, um, is going to be uh, as strong and as able as possible during that movement. So because of that, you know, we hammer not just a ton of lunges, and a lot of people, whenever unilateral leg work uh, gets thrown out there, lunges is the first thing that pops into people's head, and we actually don't do a ton of traditional style lunges in here just because it's difficult, and when you start adding in some weight into that, it gets a little more stressful on the knee because the ability to hold that form and technique becomes a lot tougher. And so the types of lunges that we do in here are things like racked, uh, kettlebell where they're holding kettlebells here reverse lunges so that front foot is able to stay stable and that knee will track into the correct position when they are doing a lunge instead of stepping out forward where they're if you can see kind of stepping out when you know, when they're stepping out forward if they're going forward and they're gonna land the weight of them especially the what they have or if they're carrying weights or if they're wrecked is going to take them forward and put more stress on that knee when compared to a reverse lunge they go straight back and then they sink and so that front leg is going to have all the, uh, it's going to be set, solid, and stable. So by doing that, by taking racked, um, by taking one arm, two arm, uh, suitcase, some of our guys, we will even go overhead lunges. Um, but like I said, lunges aren't the only thing that you really need to be working on. You know, and if you do like lunges, Make sure you add lateral lunges in there too because you're never going to be running just linearly down the field. <clears throat> your legs and feet are never going to be straight underneath your shoulders the entire time. So you want to make sure that you're going laterally <clears throat> with lateral lunges, ninja lunges, um, stuff like that that's going to actually open those hips and allow you greater movement and greater strength in all the different planes. Um, outside of lunges, we do things like step ups, step ups being We'll do two different, three different types. We'll step up on a normal box with weight. Normal box for us is a 12 to 16 inch box where we're really focusing on leg drive on that front foot, pushing through that heel and coming back down stable. Or if we are not going weighted and we really want to hammer glute activation, we will go high box step ups, which are gonna be 16 to 20 inch, where that knee has to come more into um, that that high point like we want when we sprint so they can clear the box, drive through that heel to really activate the, uh, the glutes. Um, on top of that, just like when we were doing regular step ups or regular lunges, we want to add lateral step ups in where they're stepping laterally up onto the box. We can do that with weight, we do that overhead, we do that with suitcase style where there's only one weight in there. So using those type of movements um, after our heavy lift is going to be what we call balancing and uh, is what we mainly use our unilateral uh, movements and exercises for so they are able to balance out you know their strengths and weaknesses and the best rule of thumb to be able to use that type of training uh, to make sure that you do balance out that both legs get trained equally is to take and always start with the weaker leg and the weaker side and if you only do however many reps you can do on that side. So if you can only get six, even if you start with the other side and you hit six, then it's no big deal, you stop right there. And basically you stay at six on that right leg until that left leg catches back up if the left leg is the weak one. So make sure you give those, uh, give those types of unilateral movements a shot. Reverse lunges, lateral lunges, uh, different weights in different positions, racked, down by your side, overhead, suitcase, step ups, high box step ups, lateral step ups, and make sure that you're always driving through the heel of that front foot, chest is up tall, keep those abs locked, and don't let that knee track too far forward. Hope that helps. Make sure that you click on the links below. Uh, download your free football training cheat sheet. If you haven't uh, subscribed, so you can stay up to date on all the videos we got. I appreciate you checking it out. Now you guys know,
and knowing is half the battle.